latest weather alert from CBS News Miami. All right, good morning. This Thursday, we have a next weather alert until 8 p.m. as a flood watch continues for Miami-Dade and Broward County. And we're going to be experiencing rounds of rain throughout the day today. Heavy at times and areas of flooding likely. In fact, we already have some roads that are drenched and dangerous. Just want to give you that heads up. Leave early today. Give yourself extra time. I can tell you even driving in to the station overnight, it was a little scary out there. You want to avoid hydroplaning and again, some of the roads, especially on the highways, are very slick already. And there's some ponding, so flood watch in effect through 8 p.m. Additional two to four inches, up to six inches possible. The National Weather Service has placed us under an elevated risk of heavy rainfall, and we're already dealing with some flood advisories. In fact, the one in Broward County has now been extended until 7 a.m., and this includes Deerfield Beach, Lighthouse Point, Pompano Beach, Lauderdale by the Sea, Oakland Park, Executive Airport, Fort Lauderdale, Melrose Park, and we are seeing some areas have already picked up an inch or over an inch of rain and we're continuing to deal with that rain that is training over some of the same areas basically continuing to deal with that moisture moving in from the Atlantic from east to west. There are also showers around Dania Beach, West and Southwest ranches, extreme southern Dade County. So if you're in Homestead or heading towards the Keys and the Upper Keys also right now getting drenched as well as thunderstorms around the Middle Keys, Long Key, Duck Key, Key Colony Beach. And I want to take you through hour by hour because we'll see some scattered showers through around 8 a.m. There might be a little break before we see some more heavy downpours across the Keys late morning, midday, and then that all lifts northward into Miami-Dade and Broward County. And it looks like a mess this afternoon. Some storms could even turn strong. There's a slight risk. We could even see some severe storms late afternoon into the evening hours. Keep the rain gear handy all throughout the day. And tomorrow again in the morning, we do wake up with some showers and the potential for storms in the afternoon, but at least looking at the bright side, even though it's cloudy is we have the rain cooled 70s right now in Fort Lauderdale, 75, 78 in Miami, but 81 in Key West. Highs topping out in the upper 80s around 90, and I do need to get to the tropics and show you there's only one area right now that we're watching. It's that wave out in the eastern Atlantic, which does have a medium potential of development, but as it moves near the lesser Antilles, it'll likely be lifting northward. Now tomorrow, the rain chance stays high. The flood watch could be extended, so we had into the weekend it'll be hotter with less widespread rain more of the spotty storms right now let's get a check of that wet